So Japan has almost 10 million abandoned houses. This house you see in the background is not one of them. In this video, I will give you an exclusive house tour of this beautiful 140 year old Japanese farmhouse. Residing here is family Nikura-san, who bought this house earlier this year and decided to move here to Chiba, just an hour and a half outside of Tokyo. The house has a 7,500 square meter big garden with a bamboo forest on the backside, where we went to pick and cook some fresh bamboo shoots. Delicious, hontoni. But in this forest, we also had some gnarly blood sucking bugs. This is a 140 year old kominka, just one hour and a half outside of Tokyo in Katsura, Chiba, famous for surfing and ramen, tantanmen to be specific. Today I'll give you an exclusive tour of this beautiful old farmhouse, 140 years old. Uh, thank you so much to Nikura-san who invited me for this house tour. The problem with all the abandoned houses in Japan is called Akiyamondai. Japan is giving out houses for free, but if you spend a little more money, this is what you can get. Hey! Hello there! Hey Ayata! Konnichiwa Ayata! Ayata. This is Ayata, three years old. Yeah. The dogs Cafe, yeah. Konji, and Lia chan in the orange Stockholm Surfboard Club hat. Oh, <laughs> This is Miss Nikura teaching us about the Japanese Kodomo no Hi. Ah, Narodo Kodomo no Hi no. There's a traditional entrance. Thank you. Thank Hey, Kongi. How are you? Genki de shoka. Sugoi na. Look at the space here. And the ceiling is way higher than a normal, newer Japanese house. What do you say? It's not a human being. It's not a human being. It's 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 a human being. Look at all these beautiful sliding doors. And the tatamis as well. Something that is crazy to me is that they just tear these old houses down. Since new houses only depreciates in value. And they're usually torn down after 30 to 40 years to build something brand new. Okay, Japan has a lot of earthquakes and natural disasters. But this house has been here for 140 years. I'm not a professional, so don't quote me on this, but... This house has been here for 140 years. It's not up to regulations, but just think about how many earthquakes this house has been through. Shibui. Shibui. So, 
んだっちゃってるから無理だよねあとランマですねここはねなんとねちょっとアクリルかなガラスが両面に入ってて、はいはい、そのランマの隙間にはあの入らない、はい、氷とかも入らないし空気も抜けないようになってるちゃんと木材で作られてるんですねこういうかっこいいとこのまんですね。なかなか今は作らないんですね。うん、そうね広げてるから。ここの上の離れたとことか、はい、風とか、床も抜けそうだから、ちょっと綺麗にして、よくして。あ、うん、すごいね、こうかっこいいんですよね。すごいね。And then you just attach it like this.、Mm. This is、ね、so cool. This is so cool. ここを閉めときたいけど、まあ、今のシーズンだけだからね。だって古い家も傾いてるし。うんうんうん。うん、ここはそうだな。あ、そうだね。<笑><笑>バレた。でも、私の家もそうですね。多分、この家の昔の屋根がすっごい重かったからじゃない。それもあると思うし。すごいかっこいいです。ね、素敵ですよね。This is a piece of furniture I love in Japanese houses. あとこたつですね。最高。最高最高。Japanese people can sit on the floor and eat, but I can't. This hori kotatsu has a hole underneath, so it feels like you're sitting on a normal bench with heaters underneath the table and within the hole. Ah, zochik nanda. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. The zochik is the one that's in the room. So, the room is in the room. どうぞお家ちょっとあのダンボール燃やさなきゃって思いながらちょっとほとんどか増えてて恥ずかしい<笑>これもかっこいいですねここではどうしたの昔にはね昔は多分あのこれ家の中からこっち側は鍵が閉まって、はい、別の鍵が差し付いてるんですね、はい、人間に雇ってあの農作はい、特にここはタケノコの名産だからあのタケノコでかいので湯がいてたと思うんです、はいはい、で加工したりとかそういうのに使ってたみたいすっごいねで上から薪を入れてでここに釜を置いてぶつぶつやってで下はあのすす、はい、落とすところすごいねはい<笑>本当に立派だと思うよ。でしょ。本当に。どう結局ねこのソファーでゴロンとかするから、こっちでどうも布団引っ張られて。好きです好きです。So in Japan they have a classical kind of carpenter called miyadaiku. What's typical about the miyadaiku is that they don't use nails or screws while they build big temples and beautiful houses. なんかネジ。わあ。遊んでくれるの？あいやいやいそうネジ使わないよねそうでもこれをあ,んあれをこれをあれをあれに入れるのは何人が必要だ10人ぐらいがそうだねこれ、こっちに刺さってるし、こっちにも刺さってる。そうなんだ。どうやって立てるのこれ。<笑>立
パズルだね。はい、おい This is something I find extremely fascinating. And one of the Japanese daikusans, the Japanese carpenters who's helped me with my house, Kazuki, has taught me some of the most common Miyadaiku cuts. Really impressive. It's really a work of art. Building these big and beautiful houses, sometimes not using a single nail or screw. As you probably saw from the outside, this kominka is almost 8 meters high, but it's only one floor of living space. Do you want to have a look what's inside this roof? Miss Nikura san is showing us. You enter from one of the oshires and will get a quick glimpse of the attic. Here you see traces of the old thatching roof. Some of the thatching from the inside is still left there. And here you see traces of the tsuchikabe as well. Walls made from dirt, held together by thin bamboo sticks. <laughs> But what about the sheds and the 7,500 square meter garden? Jagaimo nanda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 ah, ne. Mr. Nikura-san is showing us his potatoes. There is something special about potatoes in Japan. If you've been here, you know they're somehow way sweeter than potatoes in Sweden, for example. Oishii ne! On the property, there are several old sheds, and in the left one, Nikura san is thinking about putting a sauna. In What do you think? <laughs> So, Konda Nakatan Sne, Kazede? And you also see the majestic bamboo forest in the background. You would be surprised how fast bamboo grows, and in one week it grows several meters high. <laughs> <laughs> this used to be the old toilet of this house. <laughs> はい。あの、プラックって。はい。ああ、セプティックタンク。これは多分あの、食べ物とかを貯蔵する。ああ、砂とのとかを取っといた。プリデオ、but not And termites here in the ceiling even.
This is Nikura-san's workshed, where he stores and fixes his old surfboards. How big is the entire place? So in Europe, we calculate things in meters. In America, in feet or inches, right? Japan is using tatami as a measurement. And one tsubo is usually two tatamis. It's easy to forget that we're just 10-15 minutes away from the beach. All right, let's go and pick some bamboo shoots before we cook them for dinner. Hi. Mitsuketa? Oh. oh. This is how the bamboo shoots looks like when they're in the ground. Mitsuketa. <laughs> ちょっと隠れてるんですけどね。This bamboo here has been here for less than a week, apparently. Look how tall it is. But while the wind blows, it's a little bit scary to be in here with all the cracking and whistling sounds. Something else that's scary are the leeches that were sucking our bloods. Phew. Ayata became a target. But also Kafe, the dog, Are you okay? who sucked blood from in between the toes. Oh. It bled a lot, but it's not dangerous apparently. And Kafe and Ayata both seem to be fine. <laughs> Miss Nikura is also teaching us how to make takenoko tempura. Look at this. <laughs> こんな感じなんだ。そう、こんな感じ。すごいちっちゃくなるでしょ。本当だ。せっかく大きいやつでも。この辺はあの、ちょっと上かな。姫川と言って、すごい柔らかくて穂先、食べやすいとこなんで。
って、はい、いいそれもあるかもね<笑>全部早めに閉めるからね、うんうん、ラーメン屋だとこの間6時半とかですね6時半そうだ7時までって書いてんのかな6時半に Just look at these bamboo shoots. It looks great, but it tastes even better. I promise you. We dip it in salt, curry. I touch. So I get a lot of questions. Should I buy an Aki or not? And in my opinion, this is a better choice. It's not run down and it's in great shape, usually, because they're maintained, they're taken care of. If something, has been if something has been abandoned for about 10, 15, 20 years, they're leaking water and they're hard to take care of. Thank you so much for watching till the end and thank you to family Nikura-san for letting me shoot one of my videos here at your beautiful 104-year-old kominka in Katsura, Chiba, just a little bit outside of Tokyo. Anthony in Japan, please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions about Akia, Japan or my life in general. See you soon.